Hi everyone, Chad Shoop here, and I'm ready to dive into our stocks today for our latest Quick Takes video. I got six stocks on our list that people had left comments on my last YouTube video that we did, um, wanted me to take a look at a few more companies. So I wanted to feature them today to catch us all up on some of the stocks that are on your radar right now while they're still timely because these stocks are on the move. And as you know, that when we go back and we look at our previous stocks and we do our quick analysis here with the bank it or tank it to figure out which way directions that we're gonna expect these stocks to head here over the next few months. Um, it, a lot of these key levels, a lot of the areas that I point out on these charts end up being really important and end up really dictating what to expect from the stock as you continue to follow these companies, whether it's breaking out, whether it's they're on my bank it list for a while, but then when they fall below a key level, they flip to my tank it list and you see them continue to slide from there. So these are all the things that we're gonna point out today that you can keep an eye on for your own personal radar as you follow these stocks. So big shout out to everybody who's been sending in comments and you know thanks to Era and Sin and John and everybody who left comments on the last video but just overall all the comments that I've received here for these bank or ticket stocks that you want me to feature big thanks for sending those in so continue to leave me a comment below and if you enjoy the videos and stuff and you want to continue to receive um, the content that I produce just click subscribe so that we don't miss out on any of these upcoming videos so that's all let's dive in today and break down our first stock this one's this one's Danimir Scientific. Now, DNMR is the ticker symbol, and it's a, a, a plastics company. They do stuff like straws, water bottles, that sorts of things. But you can see back here, in the end of 2020 and in the 2021, they had a massive rally. And this stock shot up, what, six times here from $10 a share up to $60 a share. It was a big boom for the company, and it all goes back to just strong demand for what they're supplying and these food and products and inflation coming into prices and just a lot of hype around the company but that was a bubble we saw it shoot up then we see the crash so at that point the bubble rides pretty much over you'd expect some volatility which is what we're seeing now the back and forth but it's still on some people's radars here to continue to break out higher and this is the little wedge pattern or falling wedge pattern that you want to keep in mind because these are the key levels to watch for the breakout right now it's still trending um you know this was monday t tuesday when i'm recording this it, it pulled back a little bit so it's down into the low $17 a share um, once again. So it's not breaking out right now. You can continue to kind of bounce around in here for at least a few more weeks. What we want to see is the breakout because that's what's really going to tell us where the stock's going to head for the next several months, for the next several weeks that are really is going to be where you can generate the biggest profits on this company. Um, but for today, since the bubble's already played out and now we're seeing what you would consider to be some stabilization in the stock, some consolidation here, which is it's great news because it's not in free fall anymore. It's not trading extremely wild. We're still seeing some sharp swings, but it's it's getting consolidated. It's getting tighter into this pocket. So I'm gonna put it on my bank it list to look for it to break out higher out of this consolidation. It it is locked into this wedge pattern and it could break out lower. So we want to keep an eye on both of these levels. Right now it's near the upper end of this, so you could probably wait if you're bullish on a stock and end up picking it back up here in the low 14s or $13 a share or so as it pulls back. But for now, this is gonna be on my bank hit list. Again, though, if it breaks below the screen support, then it, I would flip, it'd be on a 10 hit stock. And if it gets above the red resistance line, and then it continues to stay on my bank hit list and expect it to hit higher from there. And as far as the price target, you're gonna look at a move that's about the height of this pattern. So the lows down here around $16, the highs $30, so that's $14 a share when it's trading around $14 a share. So. If we get a crash to the downside, I mean, you see where this thing was trading at back here, it was un well under $10. And that's where it's going to continue to fall. If it gets, if it breaks out to the downside here, it's going to shoot under $10 pretty rapidly. And if we get a breakout to the upside, it could be back up into the 30s in a matter of weeks. So this is why we want to keep these things on our radar. We're expecting a bigger move from this stock after this bubble has already played out. Now it's consolidating. We're expecting another big break here in the coming weeks. So keep that one on your radar. Now our next company is DuPont D. Nemours. And this stock is still in the specialty chemicals side of things, but instead of more of the, the plastics, uh, for the last stock that we just saw, this one's on the chemical side, on the more manufacturing industrial sort of side, sort of items like solar panels and so on. So this company, very tied to the industrials industry. So it's gonna kind of go um, the way of the overall economy once we start to see some strong demand. And you can see, Right now, I mean, it had a nice run up and it was trying to hold this. It didn't crash. Try to make a nice run back up to these highs. 
and then started to slide lower down this nice declining price channel here for the stock downward price channel that we want to keep an eye on and i'm not going to get crazy today with following this company i know on my relative rotation graph we see that it's improving but we've seen this happen a few times here where it goes into the lagging quadrant it's lagging the market tries to improve and then falls back down in the lagging tries to improve again falls back down in the lagging and then it was lagging there for a while now it's improving again and i'm just i'm not one to try to pick the turn in this trend we want to see it break above this red resistance line before it's going to be on our bank it list so for today dupont's going to be on our tank it list for now and the reason for that is because it's in this downward price channel and until that breaks then we can't expect it to really turn higher and to continue to give us bigger profits i'm looking for this to actually break out to the downside a little bit shoot down to almost 50 dollars a share over the next several months in the next year so we got some time for this to play out but that's the volatility that we're seeing in the stock right now. And I, I think that's where it's likely headed. But again, if it breaks above this red resistance line, I would flip and be bullish. Just for today, we're going to keep it on our tank it list. Now, our next company, Joby Aviation. So this is from John. So thanks for throwing this one out there. It's a newer company, so I definitely had to go look it up. You can see here, it hasn't been public very long. I just want to focus here on this, the prices that we see recently. Um, since it became public before it was probably another stock. I didn't even look into that, but you could just see how it was the stock was flat, not doing anything. And then now we're into the price action, but it's just over the last month or so. So it's very new. Thanks for throwing it out there though, because when, you, when I looked at it, it's interesting. It is not a stock that I would take a flyer on today. So it is going to be on my tank it list. And part of that is just because of this price action that we're seeing. It's not extremely bullish. It's not extremely bearish either, but seeing that it's such a probably a long ways away for a company they do electric uh basically sort of like a helicopter rods is what it looks like to me i mean they're supposed to be like personal aircraft rods uh, but when you looked them up it's kind of like an electric helicopter that's going to take you kind of from the city to the airports and that sort of thing and i can see this you know taking off um especially for you know for for wealthy travelers that just want to beat the traffic and you know want a more convenient way to get to them from the airport um, it's going to be great for stuff like that. And I think there's going to be more developments in this sort of segment and more competition coming along. So I think that is something that you want to keep your eye on. Um, the reason that it's on my tank it list today, again, is the price action. And ultimately, I think you're going to be able to get it for a cheaper price if this is a stock that you're interested in. Because it's the volatility for these companies, especially when they're this young and don't have the revenues or any sort of uh, financials to show for it. We're going to see a lot of volatility. And it, that is a good thing. It's going to mean that we're going to get better prices eventually to buy this stock to get into this industry if this is something that you really believe is going to take off so it's an it's an interesting one you know thanks for bringing it up but for today i'm gonna to have it on my tank it list and we you know we'll follow it up again later on so and then we'll come back once we get some more price action and we can do a real bank or tanking analysis on this company and see what's going on but our next stock is planter technologies this is a company that works on u.s contracts here to help with counterterrorism. they do the software side of things to help identify you know, red flag things and things that may come up and uh, try to help fight against, um, again, counterterrorism measures, which means they're trying to get ahead of any terrorist threats that are coming up. So counterterrorism, big, big industry for the U.S. government to really continue to explore the ways that the private sector, like a stock like this, like a company like this, can really help out the government. And when we look at it's a relatively new company, came in with a lot of fanfare back in 2020. We saw that the price, you know, double, tripled, almost quadrupled from there. Holding higher is what we'd love to see though. Now you had the big push higher. That's all the hype and excitement for the company. Get the pullback. Now we're trending in this nice little price channel. And yes, it's leading in the leading quadrant for the stock today. We can expect it to pull back a little bit to this green support line. But ultimately, we're going to have this on my bank it list. And I'm expecting the stock to continue to up this trend and then eventually push up towards $40 a share or even higher once it breaks out of this red resistance line here in the months ahead because it's not going to stay in this price channel for too much longer we'll see it over maybe the next couple of months but that's about it then we're going to get a breakout and we'll really know how you want to trade this but when i'm looking at the company this price chart seeing a young company like that get the nice growth all the attention have a nice little pullback some people taking profits that's exactly what you want to see and then now it's continuing higher so let's put this one on our bank list and look for it to head higher uh, from there and then we also have clean energy fuels as our next company to take a look at and I, I liked what i saw on this price chart because again it's similar to what we were just looking at had the big run up now we got to pull back and then what happens from there we got this little breakout you see the green candlestick breaking out here to the top 
this is very bullish because breakouts are exactly what you want to see. It's why we follow these trend lines. The, you have the red resistance there. And this has ended up being an ascending triangle pattern with the green support and red resistance. And then the breakout. And you can expect it to continue to climb. Technically, you take the height of the pattern, $6.50 to about $8.40. So not quite $2 a share, but almost. And then add that to the breakout. So you're looking for this to get up to $10 a share or more just on this move. And then some more consolidation and continue to head higher. So I'm very bullish on what we're seeing out of this stock right now. As long as it stays above this red uh, resistance line, which now that we broke above it, it's going to become support. It's around 840, 850 a share. That's going to be the key levels to watch going forward. And I know breakouts, you can look back here and you see the big breakout and then it ended up being the top and pulling back. But I really like going back to this, what you saw over here on the bottom left hand side of this chart is that the stock's consolidating, consolidating. And you can see that it's just not going anywhere. And then we get the breakout. That's a little candlestick you see in blue. That little area right there, that was a breakout back then. And it doesn't look like much now. But then you go from there, you get another breakout. And then it consolidates and continues to trend sideways. And you get another breakout. So these breakouts are great for spotting the trends and spotting the big moves that are coming up for the stock. And it just continues to happen for the stock. And then eventually, it's the top. So right now, what we're going through is we haven't really had many breakouts. We're just kind of trending sideways. And I think we're back at another early phase breakout here. And this can continue to run up uh, maybe into the low teens here for the stock over the next several months. That's an extremely bullish case. But either way, we're going to have it on our bank list. We know the key levels to watch. And this will be one that you definitely want to keep an eye on going forward. And then we have Merck and Co. So this is a pharmaceutical company. And again, we don't want to overthink this. I know when they left the comment, they said it looked like it might be trying to make a triple bottom. Um, kind of through here, we can see the dip below there though. And even though it was trying to make a short term bottom, the fact that when we zoomed out on the chart a little bit, and this you'll see this a lot of times when you're, if you're stuck, Kind of looking in here at these just short swings you could see you know start drawing trend lines all over the place and make these little key levels uh, that you want to keep an eye on but the bigger more prominent levels to watch are ones that have been tested they've been around for longer so when we zoom out on this chart we can really see that over the last what year and a half two years almost this stock has been trending lower making lower highs over and over again and starting to make lower lows too. We had the big drop and then it got right back into the same down, downward swing. So for now, this is definitely gonna be on my tank it list. I wanna see it get above this red resistance line before we would even think about it being a bank it stock. But even beyond that, I wanna see it start to make higher highs above kind of these key peaks that we're seeing touch this red resistance line. So we want it to break out, get above $80 a share or so. Then we'll still see some pullbacks and volatility but at that point, it would definitely be worth putting on the bank it list to watch it go higher. So for today, Merck & Co. is going to be on our tank it list. We're looking for this thing to kind of ride this consolidation a little bit longer, but we want to avoid the potential of a breakdown to the downside. So that's all for my quick takes today. Again, we ran through six stocks pretty fast, just looking at the price charts. Uh, but continue to leave me your comments. Let me know what stocks you want me to take out a look at. You know, a lot of these... Companies were still pretty small cap stocks, pretty not, um, you know, not that just well discovered, like the the Joby one, the air, the aviation company. I mean, that's a relatively new stock, not a lot of coverage going on, so it was great to kind of bring that one and throw it in there and talk about it. But look, if you have even bigger stocks, like I mentioned, Apple, Disney, just anything that's on your radar, these stocks are always on the move. Their price charts are always telling us something new. So just continue to leave us comments and then let me know what stocks you want me to feature in my next quick takes video. So that way we can figure out if you're on my bank it list or tank it list. So that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Chad Shoop.